Okay, so this is the JBL Eon 315 uh, speaker system. We're just going to put it back together. I'm going to show you what to check and what to make sure is okay before you put the lid back on. Interestingly, look, this one's base drive unit made in China. And if we switch to the travel drive unit, made in the USA or labelled in China, you decide. I've done a review of these two, the aftermarket ones made in China and the genuine USA ones on another video. It's quite interesting actually, the internal differences are quite uh, notable. Right, so the first thing you want to make sure is that you can see this is a two ohm driver unit, okay, and these wires aren't particularly good, but these connections are loose. And with two ohms and all the vibration going on, you can see that it wouldn't take very much impedance, a quarter of an ohm, an eighth of an ohm, a third of an ohm, to cause real problems for the driver. So before you put this back together, check that these are really tight. And what you have to do is get a pair of pliers and squeeze them. I'll give you a demonstration what I'm filming at the moment. But squeeze the, uh, close up that gap in there by squeezing with the pliers until it is a tight fit, okay? That should be a tight, that's far too loose, I'm gonna to have to tighten those. If they're at all loose, I've even seen them dropped off, I've seen them blackened where they've been arcing, and of course it's gonna damage the amplifier. Nothing to drive into, or there's an intermittent connection, it isn't good. As well as getting poor quality sound, you might well damage the amplifier. So make sure they're a tight fit, that's way too loose, look, I'll just pull that off, all right? And likewise with the treble driver here, same thing applies. Look, it's just loose. Just comes off, look. See? Just drops off. Not good. I don't know what they're thinking at the factory, but tighten those up. Crimp them up. As I say, squash that with the pliers. I'm get hold of that one and show you. There you go. So you basically hold them in the pliers, then close up those gaps slightly. Do a little bit of time until you've got a really nice tight fit. Note that one is smaller than the other, so they are polarised. They are... I think the... Come which one? One there. Are, one's a six mil spade. One's an eight mil wide spade. So they are polarized. So you can't get the polarity wrong. Okay. So make sure they're nice and tight on both drive units before you reassemble. Right, switching to the uh, the electronics. Make sure that the earth wire is on. There. That's the um, power supply. You know your domestic or electrical supply earth. Make sure that black sleeving is well tucked under, and that when you press it down, it's not trapping any of the wires when you screw this back in. There's black sleeved, uh, black braided sleeving over the live and neutral mains wire going into the unit. There's the black braided protective sleeving also over the power and uh, signal wiring there. Make sure that's well tucked in and that the can isn't pinching down, all right? And then on the back of here, there's nothing really much to report. When we do put this back, we're going to check that that plug is in tightly and correct, okay? So the rear enclosure of the speech, you'll notice that there's a gasket here which goes around to seal the um, preamp unit in and I've never ever seen them fitted properly they're always all over the skew, they're the wrong size, the screws don't through the holes what have you, just make sure it's basically in place before you screw the unit in okay so we're just going to lay those two units in there to be screwed back in position so you're looking at this self-tapping screw here and they go in this position around the periphery of the amplifier power unit through the metal cover into the six position so I'm just going to tighten those down now yeah, we put seven of the screws around the periphery of the uh, power input stroke mixer module and we plugged the umbilical cable in, all the way in. You could put a bit of, um, bit of silicon on there to hold that in if you wanted, but if it feels at all loose then, then glue it down. This one seems okay, but we have seen them come out during a performance, which we don't want. All right, so there's a tape on top of here. If the tape is slightly uh, lost its stick, this one's good, but you can also use a piece of insulation tape, but just tape it across the top and make sure this is not under any tension at all, nice and loose, okay? Now down here we've got the um, the power wires coming out of the input module and we just hook, hook them round and put the clip around them like that to hold them into position, okay? And then push that down out of the way. I might also put a tie wrap just on here just to hold it in position. Tie wrap on that position there just to tidy things up a little bit. All right, so the next stage will be to put the uh, speaker back into position. And so on the speaker wires, I've clipped them onto here to support these connections because this is a problem on some. And invariably when the whole speaker comes and the, the amplifier is blown, 
usually find these are very loose and have been arcing so make sure they're tight as I said before I'll say it once I'll say it again and there's the uh, same tie wrap arrangement there to hold and support those contacts okay now um, if you look on the JBL website there is a diagram of this loom the speaker loom and also it shows you which connection goes on where okay. so make sure you get them on the right way around some of these tweet drive units I have got a different size spades on but I've noticed that this one hasn't they're both six mil so this spade will go on either on the later ones they are size coded so you can't plug them in the wrong one but check the instructions and make sure you get them right otherwise the two speakers will be out of phase um, and you'll get odd effects and it won't be good so check the diagram online if you're unsure so there's your connections I just looked them up just so that you don't have to okay we've got the uh, main driver green is positive green and black is your negative connection on the speaker it's marked on the speaker itself and on the driver it's positive is blue and blue and black is the negative on the tweeter okay so that's that that's straight off the JBL manual so this bit of deadening felt or insulating felt or anti-rattling felt or whatever it is it's got to go back in there it is it's in every speaker and there's a hole down here some of them have got a hole down there which they tuck the end of that tie wrap through to hold it and position it. it does make it easier to put together okay so don't forget to put your bit of stuff in I'm not sure what it's for I'm not sure it makes any difference at all but stick it back in, eh? Okay, so we've stood the speaker up on its bakes. Um, you have to be a bit careful because it's liable to tip over backwards. So if you can, get someone handy to hold on to you. This is Damien. Hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Damien's the engineer. <laughs> Anyone that's used our services has probably spoken to Damien at some point or other. Um, and, and he's there being very useful holding it for us. And so we have the speaker cable here, look, which we just will plug in to the amplifier I'm doing try this single handedly and it's, it's not playing ball quite but it goes in there any moment now hold your breath can you just swivel that right? there we go we're in and then down under here we don't forget we've got the enunciator and you can see the connections for it down here I'm going to try and zoom in without losing focus there we go and we've got these two wires coming out of the mixer unit and the red one goes on the right terminal and the black one goes on the left terminal I'm just going to plug those on, I can't do it when I'm filming but red on the right, R, red, right, black for the left, okay? Okay, so the other thing worthy of note, some of the cables do have a P-clip on here which screws into one of these screws, this one doesn't have it I think the later ones do, okay, so if it do have it then fit it so we're all in position and everything's connected up so we're ready to slide our back together put our front back on okay so Damon if you can just swivel that front piece around close to where it needs to be like that and then we're just going to lay it on its back just lay the whole thing on its back there we are lovely job and around this end here we've got these two gaping orifices into which these rubber feet go these two rubber feet so I'm just going to lift up the front slightly and drop those in um, into position make sure they're in position and then go around and just put the screws in you might find a little bit of Vaseline some are very tight and it feels like they're going to strip off so if you just twiddle them carefully get hold of your screw um, maybe if you might you might need to put a little bit of Vaseline on there just to lubricate them nicely so they slide in nice and easy um, and you can just twiddle them in and sometimes find the old thread it's easier to use engage the old thread than to cut a new one alright and then just go around and tighten them all up and that is it job done we're all in I've got to put the feet in obviously I'll show you in a moment but assume that I'm putting those back and yeah so hope you enjoyed the video um, point down there is the subscribe button if you want to see more uh, videos on the various bits of audio equipment we use and how to service them and what have you then please subscribe